Hello everyone. In this video, we will look at how to carry out a titration experiment. Here are the apparatus we will need. We have two conical flasks. We have two beakers, filter funnel, as well as a pipette filler. We will use the conical flask for titration. So before we start, we will have to wash the conical flask with deionized water only. Now we will set up the retort stand as follows. We have the pipette on one side and the burette on the other side. Note that the side with the burette should be directly above the base of the retort stand. We will need to place the white towel there later. Before we move on, it is important to check that both the burette and the pipette are secured and look from the side and make sure that they are vertically positioned. Both the burette and the pipette are to be washed with deionized water, followed by rinsing with the solution they are going to contain. Let's look at how to use a pipette filler first. Let's look closely at the pipette filler. There are three so-called buttons. One that says A for air, one that says S for suction, and the last one says E for expel. We hold down the A to expel the air from the bulb of the pipette, like so. We then twist and insert the pipette filler into the top of the pipette. Make sure it is firmly attached but not too tight. Let's say if we want hydrochloric acid to be placed in the conical flask, we will put some into the beaker first. And to draw up solution to the pipette, we press the S button, which stands for suction. Of course, you have to immerse the tip of the pipette into the solution. Holding S, you will start to see that the liquid is being drawn up the pipette. Now, once the level of the liquid reaches the line, which stands for 25.0, we then remove the whole pipette from the solution and transfer this into a conical flask. To dispense the solution, we just twist gently to release the pipette filler and allow the liquid to drain into the conical flask. Slowly allow the liquid to drain into the flask. We do not want to force out all the solution because pipettes are calibrated to allow for a small amount of solution remaining in the tip after the correct volume has been delivered. We are now ready to add an indicator to our solution. Just two or three drops is enough. Swirl to mix well. We now move on to filling up the burette. We will place the whole retort stand onto a bench so that we can fill the burette at eye level. Place a filter funnel at the top and gently pour in the reagent into the filter funnel, ensuring that the tap is closed. Once you have filled the burette, remember to remove the filter funnel from the top to prevent any residual liquid from dripping down. We can fill a little bit more past the zero mark and then move over to the sink to adjust the liquid level to zero. At the same time, we want to ensure that there are no air bubbles in the jet of the burette, and this can be removed by giving it a firm vertical shake. Once ready, we will record the initial reading of the burette, in this case 0.00. .00. Now here comes the fun part. To start the titration, we will swirl the conical flask in one hand, and in the other hand, we open the tap to allow the titrant to flow into the conical flask. In the beginning of the titration, we can add the reagent rather quickly with constant swirling. Nearing the end point, we will slow down the addition of the titrant and do dropwise addition with swirling after each drop. Now let's fast forward a little and see how dropwise addition is being carried out. So you gently turn on the tap to allow one drop of titrant to enter the conical flask 
and then swirl carefully after every drop. We will continue to do dropwise addition until you reach the end point. In this case, the end point color change should be from red to orange. Once the end point is reached, we will stop the titration and record the burette reading. Careful dropwise addition near the end point is very important to obtain the orange color. If you have exceeded the end point, you get a yellow color and therefore the titration results will not be valid. This takes a lot of practice, so have a go at it in the lab.